we seldom fail to be thrilled by the exploits of our pioneers, men like the test pilots who slice through our skies at ever-increasing heights and speeds. Yet few of us ever think of the months and often years of research that make these achievements possible, and of the backroom boys who often use themselves as guinea pigs in their quest for knowledge. Here at the RAF Institute of Aviation Medicine at Farnborough, research is still going on into a subject that would never even occur to most of us, the effect of flying on the eyes and the organs of balance. Remember, man has a pretty delicate mechanism and he was built to stay on the ground. With the aid of some really weird looking apparatus, and this machine, probably the only one of its kind in the world, is a multi-planar rotating device. It simulates an aircraft in flight and examines the effect on the pilot's eyes with both camera and measuring instruments, which we'll explain later. Reasons for the concern shown by scientists are the misleading sensations experienced by airmen in quite normal flying maneuvers. A pilot's eyes and organs of balance may trick him into believing he's turning to the left instead of right and make matters worse when he attempts to correct the situation. On this machine, the subject can be rotated in any direction. By the side of this, the fairground's big wheel is kid stuff. After a few moments, the subject's eyes are swiveling round in reflex actions as opposed to those triggered off by the brain. Apart from the detailed photographic record, those tapes and wires we saw before on the scientist's face measure eye movements from the amount of electricity generated. Few people realize that the human eye is in fact a battery, although before you get alarmed, the voltage is minute, about one millionth of that needed for a lamp. Believe it or not, the amount recorded here can determine whether the eye has turned to the left or the right. This, by the way, is an oscilloscope which records those eye movements. The main organ of balance is, of course, the semicircular canal at the back of the ear. And it's because this can't be seen properly that the eye tests are so important. Research into the general problems associated with balance have been going on for hundreds of years. But flying and the entry of the space era with its new gravity conditions bring a fresh challenge to the men from Farnborough. <laughs> 